always always give a good reading or at least I try to let's see what the incoming energies are ace of rods in reverse maybe someone didn't want to give anybody a new offer a new passionate offer maybe maybe your uh, energy is a little down to where you don't feel like doing these things new offers <clears throat> excuse me but it's in reverse and it sometimes can have to do with a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but not necessarily. It just could be like a passionate energy. Now I'm going to do the full Celtic cross, and then I will clarify because the story will change up. Got the Knight of Rods again. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with a lot of passion, and they're moving forward. What's crossing it? The Ace of Cups, emotional offers. That's interesting. Considering we're doing a couple aces here. So maybe somebody's wanting to offer someone a new emotional start, a passionate start, but someone's not sure whether you're not sure or the person around you. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it could be, like I said, someone who has a lot of fire type energy or they have a lot of this in their chart. <clears throat> the goal is to come out of feeling trapped or have an interference in your life. You want to get rid of the interference. Foundation, Page of Pentacles. You're not getting uh, the messages you're wanting to receive, at least for long-term stability. You're feeling like you keep on waiting for these messages to come in. And it's like they're slow coming. And maybe you're wanting things to start up again. And you're getting impatient. In the past, it's a Seven of Wands in reverse. Someone may have gotten a little testy, a little defensive. Maybe because of these messages that were coming in or not coming in. In the near future, you can't move on just yet or the people around you can't. <clears throat> Whatever is occurring, someone cannot move on from the situation. They're having trouble moving on from you or you're having trouble moving on from them. Or maybe you're both having uh, trouble moving on from each other. Whether, like I said, a love offer, emotional offer. But someone is like, I feel like someone is waiting and they, and I feel like there's a lot of interference coming from somewhere. And I will clarify these because this story can change up with the clarifying cards. So bear with me and we'll get a lot more information, hopefully. Uh, advice from the universe or the possible future outcome is the Six of Pentacles. There's no give and take here. No, uh, one person may want to help or want to put out more, you know, with their energies to the other person, but the other person is not willing to give as just as much, or maybe both of you. But it also could be the universe saying there's really no give and take here. Take here. Someone needs to, to offer something. Someone needs to push forward, actually make that possibly Ace of Cups emotional offer. Outside influences, somebody wants to spend time with you. People want to spend time with you. They want to enjoy themselves with you. It could be that someone may try to invite you out with the Three of Cups. Or there may be some kind of celebration or event that you can go to that will be positive. So think of that as it's coming in. But maybe you want to do this and you've been invited, but you feel like there's too much interference. Or maybe you're waiting to hear from somebody. Or maybe you're just not feeling up to it. But we'll find out, like I said. Your hopes and fears. You're afraid of a tower situation. You're afraid everything will just go bust. And that everything will come crumbling down. So it's like almost like you're afraid to make a move. Like, if I do this, it'll just be a disaster. That's what you're thinking and feeling. Remember, these are thoughts and feelings. And therefore... I see no movement going forward. I do see you trying to come out of this interference. So let's see what happens when I clarify. Outcome, strength. You're tired. You're zapped. Let's find out why. Now, you do got something good coming towards you with the Three of Cups. It's like someone's wanting to break bread with you, celebrate with you, go out to dinner. But let's see why you're kind of having this interference a little bit, okay? First, we're going to go to the Knight of Rods, and it's got the Ace of Cups crossing it for Gemini. Why are you there? Why are you there for Gemini? 
you're having trouble working out a situation or working with a situation. That's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like somebody's not working towards this Ace of Cups. It's like it just stopped. Whether you stopped or somebody else stopped. But there's no movement going forward. I'm going to try to find out why. Knight of Rods, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Why are you there as the, as the subject at hand and what's crossing it? The Emperor. You could be dealing with the Aries. Or someone who is trying to control the situation. Or maybe maybe to too much control, you know? It's like, I'm feeling like some of you are waiting for someone else to make the first move in something. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to say something to you. And you're trying to overcome the interference. There's some blockages there, and i got to find out. Let's find out why. Eight of Swords in reverse. Why are you the goal or what crowns Gemini? What is going on here? The sun, you want to be happy again. You're tired of the interference of everybody sticking their nose in where it don't belong. Or it's things getting in the way where you can't be happy. Eight of Swords in reverse. The sun in, in the upright. Why are you there for Gemini? What crowns them? What's going on? You're afraid of an ending. Or you're afraid to end things. Some of you may be very depressed. So very depressed. And maybe that's what's happening. You can't function for some reason. Let's we'll see what we can do about that. One thing about the cards, they're here to help us, not to hinder us, and possibly tell us what is going on so we can find a way out. These are not etched in stone, and so you can change your path. Now the Page of Pentacles is in reverse. It's like nothing's going forward. Yeah, you're depressed. That's the moon in the upright. You're, depre you're depressed. You can't see things clearly. You're almost, in a way, fearful. Or someone around you is. Can I get another card for the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the moon in the upright? And all you do is think about the things that aren't moving forward and, and the past... The past situations that didn't work out. Also, you gotta be careful of deceptions around you. Maybe you're afraid to accept things around you or open yourself up again because of deceptions. You're thinking about what happened and you're putting a halt to almost to everything in your life. This is, this is for Geminis that put a halt to things that they're, this is for Geminis who are suffering from depression and thinking that things will never get better because they will get better. It's just you've got to change the state of mind. So seven of wands in the past, in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? Gemini's going through a little bit of a ruckus here in emotions. That's the ace of wands. It's like you're so defensive or somebody around you is so defensive that it's hard to offer a passionate new beginning in anything. So you're trying to, you want this, but it's like you knock it out of the ballpark or not out, not out of the bar. Anything that's offered to you, you knock it away from you, I should say. Or you're afraid to accept it. Or someone's afraid to accept it from you. Seven of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands in the upright while you're there in the past. Maybe someone got defensive over a new offer, huh? And they had such high hopes. They have high hopes for this. I'm thinking you're just feeling stuck. You feel like it's not going to happen. These new offers and these new beginnings. You're afraid you won't be able to move on from troubled waters in the near future. Let's find out why and see what we can do about it. Six of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? What's going on? The Chariot. Yeah, you're having trouble moving on from troubled waters and you want to move on. You want to start taking off again. You just feel stagnant. Six of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in the upright. Why are you there for Gemini? Yeah, you need to drop something so you can move forward. The Two of Pentacles is about dropping a situation that is no longer working. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. So you can move forward again. You're going to have to, the way the cards are showing up. And I'm just telling you what the cards are saying. That something needs to be dropped so you can move forward. Because you're having too much interference. Too much depression. You're feeling too much deceptions. 
you're having trouble moving forward and working. Even day-to-day -day situations are very difficult for you. Now the universe says, this is the Six of Pentacles. This is what they're trying to say to you. There's got to be some give and take here. No, one, no one's moving. No one's doing anything. It's kind of like if the opportunity can be there, but you've got to do it. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe? Why are you there? Collaboration is telling you to, uh, to collaborate or to work with people or to get together with people again. You got to actually do the giving. You got to actually take the first step. Try to anyway. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Pentacles in the upright. Why are you there? Because you're not accepting anything that's being offered to you. You see this? That's the Four of Cups. You may actually miss an opportunity that someone's trying to offer you something because of all this past yuck. So look around you. Look what's coming towards you as someone may try to offer you something. Even if you don't feel like doing it, try to try to do something. Try to try to take that first step forward. Because then the second step gets easier and the third step is even easier. You just gotta start to move. You do have something good coming towards you, Gemini. You got the three of cups. And I'm feeling a heavy energy and I gotta snap out of it because I'm starting to pick up the energy here. The three of cups is coming towards you. Someone wants you to come out of this. People, more than one person too. So three of cups in the upright coming towards Gemini while you're there. King of Cups could be a possible water sign or someone who is emotionally in tune. The water sign could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or like I said, someone who is emotionally steady and can offer you a shoulder to cry on or emotional support. So Three of Cups, King of Cups, both in the upright, coming towards Gemini. To become unchained by the devil. The devil is not the devil devil. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad, especially in reverse when I got two positive cards next to it. It's someone trying to help somebody feel unchained and stuck. So you got people out there wanting to support you in May to get you out of this rut you're in. So let them so you can feel better if possible. It's up to you. You have free will. You can do what you want. I don't judge and I don't condemn. And I don't tell people what to do. I just tell what the cards say. So your fears are the tower. You're afraid everything's going to come crumbling down if you try to move forward. So the tower in the upright, why are you there for Gemini? You're afraid you'll lose your independence or you won't be able to uh, take care of yourself or, or to become more independent. You're afraid things will just come crumbling down. You won't be able to, to survive. So this is fears. This is not. This does not have to be reality. So understand that. The Tower in the upright. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? Coming over. You want. You got. You're trying to come out of heartbreak, sorrow. You like to, you know, stay away from things that hurt. In the end, you feel exhausted from all this, all this worry and anxiety, and. Thinking about the negatives, because that's what I see mostly, because the negative things did happen to you. So the strength in reverse, why are you there for Gemini? And we're going to sum all this up. Why are you there? Yeah, you're, you feel exhausted. Too much, too much strife in your life. And it left you exhausted. It's leaving you exhausted. But remember the Three of Cups that's coming towards you. It's a good thing. Accept that offer. Accept what's coming towards you to get out of this rut. Remember I, what I told you. Two steps. Take another step. Strength card in reverse. Five of Wands in the upright. Why are you there for Gemini? Anxiety. Nine of Swords. Okay. There's a lot of depression. This is a Gemini who has suffered loss and depression, and maybe they were deceived in a negative way. It's hard for them to accept anything. Maybe some of you get def defensive, or maybe someone around you got defensive, and it really upsets you. It really puts you out of sorts. It could have to do with a fire sign 
water sign. I think more of a fire sign could be an earth sign. But I feel like someone's trying to take control and they're having trouble doing so. I see that you want to break free and get rid of the interference out of your life and get happiness. But you feel like it's almost the most hard, hard, the hardest thing you could do is to drag yourself from this. And you're trying, but you're, you're having difficulty with this. It's like you kind of stop things in their track. You're looking in the past too much of the deceptions of the depression and you're thinking, oh, it can't get better, but it can. In the near, very near future, you get afraid that you won't be able to move on from this situation, but you want to. Your desire is there, but you need to drop something. You need to drop one of these th situations and maybe get some help and drop the um, whatever is oppressing you. So you can move forward with the chariot. There's no give and take in here. I think people are offering you something or they're going to, but you may not accept it. You got to meet them halfway. In other words, this is what this means: meeting someone halfway, collaborate with the three of pentacles, you know, work with them. And there's an offer coming, but just like you're not wanting it and you may miss an offer that's positive for you. You do have someone coming forward or people coming forward want to break bread with you or offer you emotional support and numbers. You got the King of Cups here who is straight up and honest and offers emotional support again to help you break free from whatever's chaining you. But you're afraid of the tower. You're afraid everything's going to go crumbling, crumbling down around you. That's what it is. And you're afraid you're going to lose everything. And in the end, if you don't get out of this rut and accept these things that are coming towards you that are positive, you're going to be exhausted. You're going to have strife, you know, trying to fight this. And you're going to stay up nights with the Nine of Swords. The key to this, what the universe is trying to tell you, is let people in that are positive, that offer you emotional support so you can get out of the situation. And you can turn this around, the strength around. And regain strength. Let them, you know, put some of the burden on their shoulders for, you know, for you. In the end, Knight of Wands, something positive moves along again. This could be energy picks up again. I'm thinking if you allow these people or somebody else to come in that is positive to help you sort this out, you will find that the energy comes back to you again and something moves forward quickly after this. You got to just make a decision because you're not making the decision to do so. But you need to make the decision to move forward again. This is for Geminis that are in a really bad uh, state of mind right now. There's the Queen of Cups again. Accept the offer of the emotional support. So Gemini, I'm going to let this go. <clears throat> I will probably give you a bonus reading again later. Because I'm just seeing this is a very depressive type situation for our Geminis. Geminis that are depressed, that feel like life cannot move on, which in, in, in reality it can. It's just fears. It's just depression. Not just depression. I hate to say that word, just. But I'm saying that there's there are people willing to help you. Let your friends reach out and take that cup from them.